Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some popper slivers. A little bit of a late upload today. I apologize for that. I had a late night. Wasn't able to pre-record like I usually do. Um, so let's take a look here. This isn't a fantastic hand, but it's keepable. We can tranquil, thicket, cycle with our forest. Uh, so we'll, we'll keep. We got some removal. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's... Uh, Get stuff going here. See what we're up against. Um, so we made some changes to Gruel last week. Oh, what is, uh, is this Affinity? No, this is... Frick, I don't know what this is. Never mind. All right, well, we get a Muscle Sliver, so that's nice. Uh, so we'll just drop that for now. Start attacking in. So yeah, so we made some changes to Gruel. We made some changes to this deck. Honestly, we only made two changes. We added some nice lands uh, to the deck, some nice plains and forests, and then we added in, I forget what I cut for this, but I added in one Enduring Sliver, just as an extra way to do stuff in the late game uh, against uh, longer matchups. It's, uh, I'll show you in the sideboard, but you can pay two and give your creature a counter. Uh, so it's not bad. It's not bad. But I think a one of us fine in there. I wanted to test it out, see how it how it went. All right. Do we want to? Let's put down Sidewinder. We'll see how they uh, block here. We'll probably take out the Vault Scourge. We'll jump in like this, though. That's about it for the changes, though. That pretty simple. Nothing crazy. Fault Scourge is a good target for this. Uh, he could have another one, though. He's still got five cards in hand. <clears throat> yeah, I am very tired today, though. I was up very late last night playing the new Call of Duty. So, <laughs> that's why I didn't record. I got a, a late night playing Call of Duty. Ah, Savage Swipe. That sucks. That's a bummer. He's going to swing in for a little bit here. And Rancor. Alright. Well, that's a nasty hit. We'll take it. Another Blossoming. That's unfortunate. Let's do that. We'll cycle this, try to get a Sinew or something like that. Get a Sentinel. It's not the worst thing in the world. Attack in for two. We got a decent clock on us now. Need to draw into another lord. I'm just gonna take this this turn. I don't think they can kill us quite yet. We'll be on blocking duty next turn for sure. Uh oh, what are you gonna do? Can you kill us? Yuck. Oh my gosh. All right, so it looks like they can kill us. Cool. All righty. So. Sunlance seems reasonable. Uh, looks like we want our other journey. Is armadillo cloak necessary? I don't think it's quite necessary. Natural state looks good. Maybe drop a Benevolent. Alright, so here's Enduring. Let me bring it up so you guys can see it. Enduring Sliver. It's a 2-2 two, two for 2. Outlast 2. So, pay 2, tap the creature, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on this creature, and you outlast it as a sorcery. And then other sli Sliver creatures you control have Outlast. So we can start slowly in the late game buffing up our creatures a little bit. Uh, just testing them out. Don't know how useful he will 
generally be like this isn't a matchup for him honestly so we can remove him uh, it's just gonna be not as necessary in this one they're a little too fast uh, don't need the extra spinner oh that's what I cut I cut one spinner so we've got one spinner in the deck oh what else do we want to do here had a thought process of what I wanted we could cut one plated and one sentinel sure let's run it like that <clears throat> see how it goes see if we get completely blown out here um yeah we'll keep it we'll keep it it's not bad it's just a little slow Mm -mm -mm, but we got a journey. Probably wait. Now that I remember the deck that we're up against here, we'll probably wait to journey something until it starts really going off. Start playing rankers on it and stuff, and then we'll journey it. Put down our blossoming. Pass the turn. There it is. <laughs> Just go plated. Keep vines up. I guess I could have kept that spinner at in. I guess that was a mistake. Just for the fact that Vault Scourge has flying. I completely like forgot that that was something we could be blocking here. Um, oh well. Live with the mistakes. That she makes because we get no sleep. Gonna uh, go into a nest invader. That's good. That's a good combo. This deck is fast. It's a hard matchup for us. Ah, oh, man. They really put uh, some weird pressure on us here. That's for sure. I think we're just gonna play our other plated and pass. Slowly start setting up our board a little bit more. Drawing into another planes would be nice. Three cards in hand for him. <clears throat> okay. Elephant Guide. See, now this is a... Good target for Journey. Journey this, he won't get the trigger from Elephant Guide. Because he's not dying. Just going into exile. We'll take a good hit. They'll gain some life. See if we can recover. Ah, uh, yeah, we're just forced to do that this turn. Get this thing out of here. Ah, uh, you got a Vines. Well, that's unfortunate. Pass the turn and we'll probably just be dead here. All right. Oh boy. Well, let's try for this again, I guess. It's our only way here. Yeah, alright. Well, we get that. That's nice. Uh, won't attack in yet. We're still going to be on a little bit of blocking duty, just in case. Flooding out. Passing. Alright, this is where we can start coming back a little bit. All right, so what do we want to do here? I think we're going to go Viverlance. We'll take out Nest Invader. Swing. We're just going to slowly sub the board. I feel like they're holding on to some form of removal. 
That's the last card in their hand, so I want to make sure we've got uh, Vine Protection up when that happens. Just need one more land. That is a land, but uh, it's going to come in tapped. We could go for... yeah, we're just going to play it. We're just going to play it, and we'll play a Sinew here. And just hope for the best. We've got another Lord back up, just in case they are holding on to that other form of removal. Might double block my Viverlint. Yep. So we'll put the Nettle to the front. I'm fine with that trade. We're just starting to clear some damage through here. All I need is one turn. Alright, there we go. Okay, now we're starting to be in business. Had me worried there for a second. Wasn't sure if we were able to gonna come back from this. Alright, taking the full nine, going to 13. Pretty even game. Let's see what they got. Elephant Guide, uh, we're just gonna say no to that and finish this off. And we'll go to game three, okay. I think I like what I had, but I think we're gonna bring in that Spinneret. I think it was a mistake to take him out. So let's drop our Sentinels. And what else do we need to drop here? Leave in the Spinnerets. Drop a winding way, maybe? Hmm, no. Ah, uh, let's take out our benevolent. Maybe that's a mistake, but uh, we got the vines. We got the vines. Let's see what we can do game three here. <sighs> Another awkward hand. Just not a lot of power in these hands. We're drawing the journeys, which is nice, but still a little awkward. We'll be able to winding way, which will be good. Oh, that's a good draw too. Okay. All right, we're getting places. We're doing stuff. I feel like I'm shaking my microphone. Hopefully, that's not affecting anything. Nest invader. Okay. We'll worry about that a little bit later. I think we'll run this out, be able to attack in. Just hope he doesn't have the removal here for it, and next turn we'll just winding away, depending on what they do. If they start making this nest invader pretty crazy, we'll journey it, but we'll see how they take their turn. Okay, we'll take the two. Gonna buff it? No? Alright. Putting out another nest invader? Okay, emissary. Into another nest invader? Into. Ooh. Don't like that guy. He can be pretty gnarly. We'll probably want to journey him. Ah. <sighs> I'm in an unfortunate spot where I want to put down this plated and play the journey, but we won't be able to do that. Definitely don't want him on the battlefield, though. I guess we're just going to play that tapped. And we're going to go ahead and take him out. Yep, he already knows. And we can attack in. Okay. Alright. No fights. Don't take away my only lord. Attacking for four. Alright. A little bit uh, tight on mana. A little bit. Another emissary. Kind of annoying. 
into nettle. Also annoying. Uh -uh -uh -uh. Okay. Uh, I say we go winding way and assess the situation from there. Double spinnerets. Okay. So do we just keep them off of all of this? I don't want him to start comboing. If we can keep them off comboing, I think that's going to be important. Okay, sure, we'll try it like this. This could be a mistake. They can swing for six next turn. We need to draw into another lord ourselves, Rancor. Okay, we might be dead. Getting in for eight. Okay, mm, looks like we might have to go on some blocking duty here. Ooh, actually, that works out nicely now, doesn't it? Don't tell me you got a vines. Do you have vines? He's got a vines. Dang. Okay, fair enough. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, undo, undo. And I think we'll hang on to the Tranquil, just in case we need to try to get an extra card draw next turn. Swing for four, and then we'll go on blocking duty here with our plated in spinneret. Which, we might have needed one more blocker, actually, just to absorb more damage. We'll see. <clears throat> Swinging with it all. Oop. We'll see what happens. If they can kill us, they can kill us. And then GG, but... They very well could. They very well could. Might have wanted to keep back another blocker. Paying some mana. Okay. That's all that's happening, all right. They can replay the Rancor. Hmm, okay. Carrion Ranger. Uh, cancel. I'm going to cycle this. exactly what I wanted to see. Just gonna attack in with the Sinew. Start getting them down. If they want to block the Curian, go ahead. We'll just throw everything in front of the Emissary or whatever they put Rancor on. Which they'll probably put it on the Emissary. 
trying to set up for the best way for us to win next turn, so if we can. We're gonna lose a couple creatures though. Yep, there's the Rancor. You got like another Rancor or something. Get in with everything. Is this gonna be enough to kill us? Let's see, we're taking three. Mm -hmm. I think we gotta just dump everything in front of this. I think so. Any kind of buff just has them win, so. Alright, GG. Good game. It was close. It was close. Let's see what our next card would have been. Fiverlent wouldn't have helped us. Predatory. Yeah, we were a little bit slow on the draw. Mm, yeah, I'd have to rewatch, see if there's anything we could have done differently in that game. It's a good match, though. We were able to come back game two, and this was a solid last match. They just ran us over game one, but the next two were good games. So, good to them. So either they had it or they didn't, but they were attacking in like they had it. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the game. Sorry we're a little bit late on the upload today. And we'll be back on schedule here with more slivers the rest of the week, along with some other stuff. And, uh, yeah, leave a like, subscribe so you don't miss anything, and we will see you guys in the next video.